When a humble boy grazes a ride along the scarer of Rivia, a long can be sung. Also, going to your witcher, the valley of empty, the valley of empty. Also, going to your witcher, a fan of humanity. Selamat datang ke Glonaforia dan anda sedang menonton. Cuba kau test try tonton. Today I would like to review one of the top shows in 2020. The Netflix Witcher. Pada asalnya, The Witcher merupakan sebuah novel yang ditulis oleh a Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski pada tahun 1994 and was adapted into English in 2008. Sebelum Netflix, The Witcher pernah diadaptasikan menjadi sebuah filem dan drama yang bertajuk The Hexer, but it didn't get popular review by the people. The Witcher started to gain its popularity with its video game adaptation in 2007 which has received outstanding reviews and attention. In 2015, the release The Witcher The Wild Hunt telah melonjakkan popularity The Witcher dengan mendapatkan pelbagai critical acclaim gaming award such as the Game of the Year award. Now, the power-hungry Netflix has joined the bandwagon untuk menghasilkan adaptasi Witcher mereka sendiri. The story involves around the title Witcher which is a group of mutants with enhanced physical and magical abilities. Mereka ni bekerja sebagai bounty hunter ataupun mercenaries untuk duit, for coin. Stories follow a particular witcher named Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia ni sangat-sangat popular. He has gathered fame and popularity from his many successful mission. However, fame and glory doesn't really suit Geralt because he only care about living how as he wanted and really doesn't want to get involved with other people. However, finally, destiny strike him hard when he accidentally gotten himself a surprise child. The law of surprise is an old and magical law within the world of the Witcher. It can be evoked when we have saved someone's life. The Savior has the right of the unexpected, yang bermaksud kita berhak untuk mendapatkan sesuatu yang tidak disangka-sangka oleh orang yang kita selamatkan. Jadi, Geralt ini telah menyelamatkan Pasangan yang amat penting dalam dunia The Witcher, seorang puteri dan putera. Apabila pasangan tersebut hendak membalas budi Geralt, he evokes the law of surprise. And funnily enough, unbeknown to everyone, the couple is actually having a child. Jadi, disebabkan anak itu merupakan sesuatu yang tidak disangka-sangka, maka Geralt with the law of surprise berhak terhadap anak tersebut. Menariknya lagi, anak tersebut, puteri itu has important role and destiny within the world of the Witcher. Jadi Geralt ni dengan rela hatinya terimalah destininya untuk menjaga anak tersebut and be a part of that child life. Which is very ironic because all of his effort of trying not to get involved with things, in the end he gotten himself involved with the most important event in the world of The Witcher. The world of The Witcher boleh saya katakan sebagai gabungan, a mix, a darker mix of dunia Lord of the Rings and dunia Game of Thrones. There is a lot of your typical RPG game, mystical beings such as elf, dragon, dwarf, and unique monster. Dan mereka juga ada political struggle between kingdom in what they call the continent. Instead of houses, seperti dalam Game of Thrones, they have multiple countries. And all of these countries are tied together with unique political system, laws, magical rules, and belief. Contohnya ialah seperti the Brotherhood of Sorcerers di mana mereka melatih mages untuk dihantar kepada setiap negara untuk membantu dalam perihal politik. Semua ini menjadi faktor kepada keunikan dunia The Witcher. Season pertama The Witcher ini lebih kepada pengenalan watak. There's a lot of backstory, 
there's a lot of setting up the foundation of the story. I really like the way how the story is being told by utilizing the concept of destiny. The story goes back and forth between the main characters, mainly Geralt, the surprise child Ciri, and a sorcerer named Yennefer. Each of these character stories were told very differently, almost like they are living in a different world. Memang sangat-sangat lain, seperti dunia lain ataupun masa yang berlainan. Memang jauh berbeza, sehingga kan kita sebagai penonton tertentanya, apa kaitan antara setiap watak ni kan? Apa hubungan mereka kan? How is everything is related in the story? Namun dalam cerita ini, by giving clues every now and then, the story beautifully intertwine their path menyatukan tiga watak ini beautifully tidily seperti ikatan takdir yang menyatukan sekalian alam ini yang membuatkan The Witcher Season 1 ini berbaloi untuk ditonton anda semua overall it is a very beautiful story enriched by unique characters it has a lot of familiar concept while providing something that is new and refreshing Terima kasih kerana telah menonton review saya. Anda boleh subscribe, like dan share video ini. Anda juga boleh follow kami di Facebook, Instagram dan Twitter. Itu saja dari kami. See you next video. Tada.